we'll conclude this tutorial with a brief look at the different mapping systems that are automatically or manually applied to your objects in Bonsai 3D. Cubic mapping is automatically applied to objects that are cubic in nature, such as a primitive cube. The texture is projected in six different directions onto the faces of the object. The resizing can be done in the XY, YZ, or ZX orientation. You can also edit the texture in 3D. This allows you to modify the origin along the X, Y, or Z axis, and also modify the rotation of the cubic projection by modifying the X, Y, or Z rotation angles by clicking on the rings. Let's create some other objects in Bonsai 3D. Select the vector line tool in the 3D enclosure icon and begin drawing a vector line. And then we'll switch over to the arc tool. And then we'll double click and extrude that into a solid wall. Use the Edit Texture tool and observe that if you click on any of the flat faces that flat mapping is automatically applied in the proper orientation on any of the flat surfaces. Click on the curved surface and you'll see that cylindrical mapping is automatically applied. So the horizontal size is an angle, the vertical height is a length, and the position is cylindrically mapped around that curved surface. Spherical mapping is automatically applied to spherical type curved faces. For example, create a sphere and select the Edit Texture tool. Click on the object and you can see that spherical mapping is automatically applied. This spherical mapping system curves the texture both horizontally and vertically across that curved surface. We can also click on the bullet to control where that texture starts anywhere on that 3D spherical surface. In this example, we'll union a cylinder to a sphere. Select the Cylinder tool and create a solid cylinder, and then select the Sphere tool, snap to the center and snap to the end, and then using the Boolean Union tool, we will union those two objects together to create one single object. Let's see what kind of mapping is applied to this object. Select the Edit Texture tool, click on the bottom face, and you see flat mapping is applied to the bottom face. Click on the outside cylindrical face and observe that there's cylindrical mapping on that part of the object. And I think you guessed it. If you click on the top spherical curved surface, there's spherical mapping automatically applied to that. So you can see that Bonsai 3D does a wonderful job of automatically mapping these different mapping systems onto any type of object. UV coordinate mapping will freeze the texture at the points of the object. This option is not automatically applied to any type of object. This option is selected manually after you are done mapping your object. For example, we'll create a box by extruding a rectangle. And then using the Edit Texture tool, we can reshape and resize the automatic mapping system that's applied to the object. At this point, if we were to move a single segment of the object, you can see that the flat mapping system that is automatically projected on the object extends and repeats across the face of the object. In many cases, this is the desired effect. Let's change this to a UV system. Click on the object with the Map Texture tool. Change the mapping type to be UV coordinates. Now the texture is now frozen onto the faces of the object. So now if we move a segment, observe that the texture is frozen at the points of the object, which causes the texture to stretch as we change the shape. And the last mapping type is parametric mapping, which is automatically applied to NURBS objects. For example, we'll do a NURBS loft on two different lines, and we have a NURBS surface. Let's apply a texture on this. Modify the texture by going to the fabric library and choose a nice little fabric material like we have here. And that's applied to the object. If you use the Edit Texture tool, notice that that texture is automatically parametrically mapped on the object. So now we can just simply drag two handles to modify the U and V size of that texture as it's mapped on that surface. We can also change the start position, and as I change that start position, you can see that that is parametrically rolling across the curvature of that NURBS surface. Another example would be the NURBS by Boundary Curves. With that tool selected, we click on four different curves, and it'll fit a NURBS surface inside the boundary of those four curves. Let's apply an interesting material to that. Let's choose from the Laminate Library, find an interesting texture, We'll apply those predefined settings to our current material, which is applied to the object. Now we'll use the Edit Texture tool, and notice that the parametric mapping automatically follows the curvature of that complex surface. So we can very easily modify the horizontal and vertical size of how that texture is mapped along that curved surface. Right-click on your object and choose Show Controls. 
This is one of the great advantages of the parametric mapping system. If you were to modify the shape of that NURBS object, you can see that the parametric mapping automatically stays fixed onto the smooth surface that is there. We can make changes to that surface and still have the parametric mapping stay fixed on that surface. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D Texture Mapping Tutorial.